Hi, I'm Ben Thompson. Now today, we're going to talk about gun control. Now I know this could be a, a hot button topic, but it's something that we need to talk about, and it's something that is very important, because the Constitution gives us the right to keep and bear arms. And what does that mean? That is the right to have firearms. Now, some say that's talking about the militia, which is the, uh, the, the related to the military. And that's true, but the problem is, is that we, the citizens, are every man, 18 to 45, uh, 65 if you've been in the military, is part of the unorganized militia. Therefore, we do have a right to keep and bear weapons. Now there's some arguments, one of that, which is basically that it might cause people harm. Well you know what, this has always been the case, and uh, statistics have proven that people who are able to protect themselves are less likely to uh, be, be attacked in this way because the people who would, are willing to actually do that know that if that they're, they're more likely to succeed if the people are not armed. Now, there's another thing we need to talk about. Um, historically, we see that nations that some nations that have a taken away guns, it was for the purpose of oppressing people, and we find that true in China and Russia. Now, of course, we have other nations like um, England and the likes, and they are not as oppressive as China and the Soviet Union are and were, but they are, they do have a high technology surveillance police state basically it's just not as vicious now the, the, the purpose behind the second amendment was to create a balance if you have been watching our school of the US Constitution series you would know that government is force and the purpose of the Constitution is to limit force and one of those balances to limit government force is for an armed citizenry. Now, you might be thinking, well, the government would never do that. And that's okay to think that way, because it's not, a, it's not required to keep these principles on whether the government will or will not do something. But I do, I do want to tell you that, and this is what I believe is more important than what anything the government is willing to do. And that is, there is an economic crisis right at our door. And the government knows this. Now, the government has been buying up lots and lots and lots of ammunition. Now, of course, they say this is for training, but we know that the government is lying, and the real purpose behind the large scale purchase of these weapon ammunition systems is because they know that an economic crisis is coming. Now, combine that with the fact that the government wants to take away uh, guns, we can know that, the, that they believe that they will be able to maintain control if they take our guns. Now here's the problem when the economic crisis comes in full sway it's, they're, they're not going to be able to control it and the government knows this to a degree that's why they want to take away guns because they think that if we do not have weapons we won't be able well they'll, they'll be able to keep control that's simply not true when the economic crisis happens you're going to see large-scale riots you're going to see people willing to kill each other and you go and they the, the government simply does not have enough money to keep
keep this thing under control. They do not have enough police. All of most of our military is overseas. And so what's going to happen is that we're going to have a full-scale breakdown in the community. Now, that might be hard to hear, but it's true. The government will not have enough resources to take care of you during this crisis. They won't be able to protect you. They won't be able to take care of you. They won't be able to feed you. These three things is what we need to prepare for. And that's one of the purposes of the Free Citizens of Alameda, is to create a citizenry that is better prepared to meet this crisis. The first crisis, well, the first way to prepare for this crisis is you have to have firearms. You need this to protect your family because the government will not have the resources during this crisis to, to protect your family. Only you can do that. And the Constitution uh, it was never intended to take care of us from the government on such a high level. It is meant to protect us from enemies foreign and domestic. But at, the, at such a high level, it's simply not going to be able to happen. Now the second thing, and we're going to talk about this more, is food storage. So you need firearms to protect your family and you'll need food storage to feed your family because during this economic crisis it's going to cut off food supplies or make it very difficult to get so you're going to, to need that as well. Now later in the week we will be doing a special uh, broadcast about food storage and, and how you can create an efficient and effective plan for your family. So, in this video, you need to be aware that it is a constitutional right for us to have firearms, that we need them because the government won't be able to protect us. Do not let the government register your guns. Registration is a sign that they plan on taking away your guns in the future. Histor history has taught us this. So those are the, the things. Thank you for taking time to watch this uh, community message and hope you have a good day.